Okay, so we're um, we're looking at platinum and palladium here. Palladium's real light. Yeah. Platinum's real heavy. Real heavy. And this is maybe even heavier than, than the platinum you buy at the store. Um, I'm not sure why, but it, it is actually denser than, than, than the listed density of platinum. It is uh, 23. That's a specific gravity of 23. Platinum is listed as having a specific gravity of 21. Um, but this is a kind of a cool piece. I, I actually used a, uh, one of the platinum bullion bars, and you can uh, see this down here. And I, I tried to melt it, right? I started with the propane torch, and um, I do silver work. I've done silver work for many years, um, since I was in my early 20s. And you can melt silver with a propane torch. Um, easily. Uh, you know, it's not hard. Um, then I tried the oxyacetylene and an oxyacetylene cutting torch. Didn't touch it. Didn't even come close. Got red hot. Glowed like the sun. But it didn't melt. until I got a plasma torch on it. That's 3,000 degrees Celsius. And, and I was able to melt it, and I, I'd move along the, um, the surface with my torch, and it solidified behind me. <laughs> and, you know, go like this, and, and this is the result of, like, 15 or 20 minutes of, of effort trying to uh, blow a hole through it with a plasma torch at 3,000 degrees Celsius. Silver melts around 900 degrees Celsius to give you a, a, a comparison. And um, none of the silver that uh, we have has gold mixed in with it. You cannot find, I mean, you can find it in nature, I'm sure, but uh, also platinum, right? The, the stuff they sell you down at the store for platinum um, should have gold in it, and it doesn't. I'm not, I, I, I know that the South African platinum monopoly, the, I think it's the same people that run De Beers, um, I'm not sure, they're, you know, just from South Africa. They're all from South Africa, you know, over there stealing South African stuff because their stuff wasn't good enough. Um, you know what? It's all the same stuff. I get this off of the dirt, the dust on the side of the road, platinum and palladium. Here in Arizona... You can get it from a dirt road near you with a little effort. And, um, you know, platinum is probably the single most useful metal in the entire world um, because it creates catalytic reactions like um, splitting hydrogen peroxide into two hydroxyl ions, which are hydrogen-oxygen gas. They're also the main ingredient of every catalytic converter on every car in the entire fucking world. It's a $1,000 an ounce at the moment in the monopoly market here in the United States. Um, because it's controlled by the South African platinum monopoly. Um, 
when I take this stuff to be tested, it tests, they say, is uh, copper and nickel, both of which you can melt with a fucking torch, man. Any fucking torch, right? So, it's not actually copper. There's no copper in there, and there's no silver in there at all. It has a specific gravity of 23. I checked. I'm not guessing. I've checked like mm, maybe a hundred times, something like that. I also have the measurements, right? And, and like, um, where'd it go? Okay, where'd it go? All right, so you can kind of um, do a pretty close guesstimate, um, actually real close guesstimate, by measuring the size of this bar. There, there's not so much sticking out here. There's none, actually. See, See what I mean? that you get an uneven measurement. Uh, and the measurements aren't so fine that, that uh, you would uh, lose anything from the bumps on the surface, uh, or this surface even. Um, so these are 10 by 5.6 by 0 0.56 centimeters, one cubic centimeter of water weighs one gram, that is the basis of our specific gravity. When I dunk this in water, I measure a volume that is 10 by 5.6 by 0 0.56, and so since I have these measurements, and this is uh, not lumpy like a piece of natural platinum or gold, um, so I can measure it, it's 134 grams. I checked about 10 of them so far. They're all the same. I have five of these and a bunch of other ones, a bunch of other ones. I have some that are bigger, some that are smaller, but the the standard issue ones are, are this particular measurement, and it gives a specific gravity of 23. Platinum is supposed to be 21, so it's heavier than it's supposed to be. Gold is only 19. It has gold in it. You can see the gold in it. That is what natural platinum looks like. Okay, and when I put it in hydrogen peroxide, it makes bubbles because the crystal structure of platinum is cubic, face-centered cubic, and it creates little hoppers, little dished-in spaces where catalytic reactions can take place because they're molecular in size, they're, they're atomic in size, they, and the, the metal attracts ions um, into those little things, and, the, and it sits there and blows bubbles in hydrogen peroxide until all the hydrogen peroxide is gone and it just leaves the water. Okay. Now my palladium in hydrogen peroxide makes more hydrogen peroxide. So we have A, a really, really beautiful metal
and it's hard, like like steel. Oh, <laughs> harder than steel. It's actually harder than steel. It's about the same. Um, Actually, it's not not at 23. There is nothing else that I know of that is 23. 22 is the highest it goes on the periodic table. So, but I checked, and you can check those measurements yourself. Comes up, you divide the um, weight into the volume, right? So the volume divided by the weight. Far out now. Look at that guy looking at us from down on the bottom there. Isn't that cool? You know what that is? It's on the side of the elephant. That elephant. This is uh, bullion from Tibet. The Chinese have used this for thousands of years. It's basically an unlimited supply of it because the dust on the side of the road is where I get it from and where the Hmong people who live in the, in the Himalayan mountains get it from. I know that because I learned how to do it from them. <laughs> 